Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be testing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth on my GTX 1660 Ti. We're running the game at medium settings, native 1080p resolution, and without any upscalers. To push things further, we'll be using the new Lossless Scaling 3.0 to see how much we can boost the fluidity and FPS. The game runs between 40 and 55 frames per second on this graphics preset, which isn't bad at all. However, if you're aiming for higher frame rates, you can tweak the preset configuration to improve performance. But my goal here is to push the frame rates beyond what my hardware is naturally capable of. First, we'll limit the frame rate to 30 FPS to reduce CPU usage, as lossless scaling also relies on GPU processing. In the program window, we'll set up the frame generation mode and adjust the other settings, just as I demonstrated in my previous video. Once that's done, all that's left is to click the scale button and wait a few seconds. And there you have it. We're now running at over 100 FPS. It's that simple. I noticed a slight improvement in image fluidity, but it's still far from the experience of playing at a true 100 FPS without frame generation. Unfortunately, you can spot some visual artifacts, which can be quite distracting and take away from the overall experience. As we can see, the game's performance plays a significant role in the quality of frame generation. With the base frame rate dropping below 30 FPS, the results are far from ideal, and this is definitely not recommended for a smooth and enjoyable gameplay experience. Let's tweak the settings to try and achieve better results. First, we'll adjust the base FPS to 40 and set the frame generation mode to X2. For the scale type, I'll leave it off this time. Now, let's apply these changes and see how it performs. Let's give it a few seconds for the frame generation to stabilize, and there it is. We're hitting 60 FPS with no artifacts or noticeable increase in latency. However, it's not particularly impressive, as reaching 60 FPS is possible even without using lossless scaling. That said, since the purpose of this video is to test how much this tool can help us across different games, it's still a valuable result. Let's continue with the gameplay and see how well this stability holds up over time. What I noticed as an advantage here is that stuttering was significantly reduced, and overall, the fluidity was good, but not all the time. As you can see, the base frame rate fluctuates quite a lot, and in certain moments, it even drops below 30 FPS. This happens because lossless scaling places a heavy load on the GPU in this game, which pushes my setup to its limits. Every time the base FPS dips, the generated frame rate also takes a big hit, often falling below 60 FPS, and in some cases, dropping to 40 FPS. This creates an inconsistent experience that can be frustrating, especially in games where smooth performance is key to enjoying the gameplay. Unfortunately, in my testing, the overall experience wasn't great. The combination of a fluctuating base frame rate and the high GPU usage didn't allow the frame generation to shine as it should. For those of you with setups similar to mine, I'd honestly recommend running this game without frame generation. You'll likely get a more stable experience by optimizing your graphics settings instead. That said, tools like lossless scaling can still be incredibly useful, depending on the game and your hardware. It's always worth experimenting with different settings to find the sweet spot for your system. If you found this video helpful or learned something new, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more in-depth tests like this one. Your support motivates me to keep creating this content and testing new tools for you. Let me know in the comments what game you'd like me to test next, and as always, thank you for watching. See you in the next video.